Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome to X-Play, where we have two new trailers that are going to make a lot of people very, very happy. I'm happy. That's how excited we are. Thanks. For months, we've been getting these emails. What do you know about Kingdom Hearts 2? And tell us more about Kingdom Hearts 2. You can stop. Stop. Because we're showing the first time in the United States a trailer not only of Kingdom Hearts 2, but of the new Final Fantasy VII movie. Nice. Plus, we have NCAA football, survival horror, and Final Fantasy tactics for the GBA. But first, a highly anticipated game I hope would be a worthy successor to Space Channel 5, because it's got dancing and shooting. Come on, come on, just move on because you want to get to the trailer, you know? Trailer. All right, fine, whatever. Here's our review of Piano 3. Game looked so good. It did. And it turned out so bad. Oh, yeah, it did. It's like the Matrix movie. The Hulk movie, or Underworld, which is about as exciting as Vampire C-SPAN. That's exciting. Stop yeah, digressing. Sorry. you got to stop digressing, because okay. you know what? People want to see trailers. Okay, in okay, homes, already. Like that. Now, as some of you know, in 2001, Square made the Final Fantasy Spirits Within movie. Which didn't do too well at the box office, probably because it was boring. But more recently, they did that short Final Flight of the Osiris film for the Animatrix movie DVD thingamajig. Right. Now they've decided to make a shorter DVD film, not a game, but a film, based on the characters from Final Fantasy VII. So here's a brand new trailer of Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. That movie looks so pretty. When you have a, a sword the size of a surfboard, I think you're overcompensating for something. Like what? If you just tuned in, stick around, because later, we got Kingdom Hearts 2. And Morgan Webb. Welcome back. We have Japanese RPGs. As Adam knows, Final Fantasy fans are some of the most vocal gamers out there. Review a Final Fantasy gamer will send you more cloud and you erotic fiction. Ah, uh, please no. We have a new game based on Final Fantasy tactics for the PlayStation 1. Only this time, it's on the GBA. Which is great. It means they can follow me around wherever I go. That's a big deal, because the only other time Final Fantasy was portable was on the Wonder Swan color. Yes, the Wonder Swan, which sounds like a bad 80s superhero in the West Coast Avengers. Actually, it was a portable system available only in Japan. <laughs> and for years, it was the only handheld with ports of Final Fantasy games. Not anymore. Here's our review of Final Fantasy Tactics. We've given more 5 out of 5s to GBA games than to any other platform this year. There was WarioWare was really good. Golden Sun Lost Age was also like a really good one. Metroid Fusion. Yeah. And now time for a drawing transition from RPGs to football. Now sadly, this football game is made by 989 Sports, which doesn't have a great track record, but they're nice people. They so are. we gave them the benefit of the doubt. And now we want it back. This is our review of NCAA Game Breaker. Okay. It's not so good. No. It's worse than that. But if you want a decent college football game, try EA's NCAA College Football 2004. Now stick around. We have that Kingdom Hearts 2 trailer coming up. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Hessler and Morgan Webb. I think the word styling is kind of optimistic mm. at best. Yeah. Welcome back to X-Play. We've got a survival horror game for the PC. Yeah. Now this one. It's got vampires, okay? They're pale, allergic to sunlight, and they wear, you know, big flamboyant clothing. So they're me, pretty mm. much. Here's a preview of Nosferatu, The Wrath of Malachi. I'm clever. Mm. You know, Malachi is also the evil kid from Children of the Corn, the one who goes, Outlander, I have your woman. Thanks. Isn't that good? For that. When we come back, the moment you've been waiting for, Kingdom Hearts 2 in glorious polygons. And Morgan Webb. I'm Yin. Um, guess I'm Yang. Welcome back to X Fight. Now, unless you're at the Tokyo Game Show like we were, <laughs> you probably haven't seen what we're about to show you. Now, we have gotten a ton of email requesting information on Kingdom Hearts 2. We'll let the trailer speak for itself. Here's your first look at Kingdom Hearts 2. Dude. It's cool. Dude. That's. Just, I, I like it. What yeah. we, we need here to point out is that. Uh, it's from Square, and it's an RPG, yet I actually really like it. I love the first Kingdom Hearts. And it and, you has know, Final Fantasy characters and Disney characters. Right. That alone should be enough <laughs> for me to just despise it. But no, I, it's so much fun to play. It's yeah. good. And I really can't wait for, for Kingdom Hearts 2. I like the whole idea of a ninja Mickey. That, that was cool. Was That's like, I got exactly. chills at that point. I thought the trailer was interesting, actually. It didn't really 
tell you a lot about what was going on. It just gave you no. little, little teaser images. There seems to be kind of a, a weird like S and M thing going with the guy with the red and wrapped up in the one. I don't know. What is it? Where does he get this stuff from? I, anyway, I gotta find it wherever I look. You can you can get more information about not Kingdom Hearts like 2 on the website, which is techtv.com slash xplay. Maybe if I just talk louder, he will be quiet. No, no, no. I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. it's so creepy. I like that they climb the walls and stuff like Those that. Those guys were cool. Really creepy. I don't know. Let Those us know what you think. Cool. Obviously, the message board is there at the website. I'm going to start right. playing the game That's here. That's probably for the best. But no one wants to hear my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a reaching back. <laughs>